Bev. That was for you. Good morning to you. How lovely to see you. With the Good morning. Good morning. Hi. He's asleep on you, isn't he? John needed a dead cat, actually, which is the name of a certain kind of microphone. I didn't want to say that in front of the little fella here. Um, but he's, he's, he's best kept yeah. that way, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Have you got a name suggestion for this cat, Bev? No. <laughs> you don't want that responsibility. <laughs> okay, all right, fair enough. He's a little stray, and he's now well. He's not anymore, um, and he's made himself. We're, we're going to lead him astray, most likely. He's very happy here, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Apparently, apparently, these little black cats aren't very easy to um, find homes for. Really, th is it a superstition thing in poetry. It might be. I, I don't. Is that it's... right, Bev? Do you know about this? In America, also. <laughs> really? Oh wow! Yeah. I remember... I didn't realize he's our him. first choice. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> okay, Bev, you haven't come here to talk about superstitions, have you? Or to name a cat. You've come here to talk about your delicious food and to get an apology from me publicly in front of all our peers here. Because I feel really bad about this. <laughs> I credited Dan on Monday with his, um, his amazing skills in the kitchen uh, and the beautiful uh, film that you can see here. I'm going, Dan this, Dan that. And a little message from you. Actually, that's my cooking, not Dan's there. Uh, some of the cooking at Sulfurness is Dan's, uh, but I think most of it is yours, right? And as, sure. as Zen was saying, foodgasm, Sunday afternoon, stood up at the countertop. <laughs> I was like Homer Simpson tucking in to this beautiful dish in front of me. So I am so sorry I didn't uh, correctly identify you as the creator of this beautiful food. Correct. Dan is the creator of all of the fried food. Uh, Dan's from Georgia, and anyone's from Georgia in America, please do not, please do not come after me. Um, Y'all <laughs> like to eat fried food. I'm sorry. Fried, fried, <laughs> fried, fried, fried. So um, Dan fries and he creates all of the batter for the fried fish and the fried chicken. Which we love. Yes. I love to bake and season everything else. So the seafood ball is something that is done and was created in Louisiana. We are known for our famous seafood ball. Um, we put it in the big pots the seafood ball pots, the gumbo pots, and we do the brawl. The creation for the jackfruit came about because in my uh, kitchen, in the pantry, I have over 200 seasons and I get it shipped in quite often. And I just create uh, different seasons and believe it or not, I don't use salt at all. Do you know? Wow. No, no, no. Uh, I had a stroke before. Uh, so my stroke came from low blood pressure, not high blood pressure, believe it or not. So oh, really? I've not heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people, uh, I used to brag about how low my blood pressure was. I've done that. I'm going to stop. <laughs> yeah. And I used to work out um, a lot. And, but, Every time I worked out, I would get lightheaded. And I was like, oh, maybe I'm working out too much. And um, yeah, it caused a stroke. Wow. So I found out it was because of well, the stress, but the low blood pressure. And my blood pressure is still low. So I use a lot of seasoning without salt. Incredible. And you make such incredible food, Bev. Um, yeah. And we need to talk about this as well. This is your vegan, 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 which you are becoming, I mean, it's fair to say world famous for, right? Somebody rocked up the other day, didn't they, saying, I've heard about this. Yes. You yes. people from uh, Australia say, where's, where's uh, this great Aust food? Uh, Australia, um, Sweden. Um, uh, I met a gentleman that, at, as I was telling you, I'm not sure if he, train somebody that is the overseer of all of the continents, but he um, is Portuguese, but he grew up in America and now he's back in Porto. Uh, he heard our accent. He was on the pit stop grounds and um, he hurry up and he brought his kids back to the Airbnb to his wife. 
Uh, he came back. He said, my wife's not vegan and I was just going to eat some rice, but I'm going to come back. I gave him a taste of the uh, vegan dish, which was jackfruit. This is and, the one. Uh, this this is, is the, the one. Yeah. But I want to tell you, this was the end of the jackfruit. But it looks better than that. But yeah, great I picture. Mean, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. That is my my uh, photography doesn't do it justice, <laughs> and nor does the the packaging, right? But we had to get it home somehow. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's it, the you, your presentation is absolutely beautiful, <laughs> given the circumstances it, we have. You know, um, but you did a great job, and I thank you. I truly thank you. I mean, you're like our number one fan. So thank you, Yay! thank you, thank you. <laughs> Right, my pleasure. And, and, and I'm so sorry I gave Dan the credit. He didn't say anything, did he? Of, of, of course not. Of course not. He's like, yep, 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 yep. Of I'll take course it. not. I'll take yep, it. But, um, I, I thank you. We um, The jackfruit, I do a lot with the barbecue, but I've, I've learned that I can do more jackfruit rice over rice, uh, yeah. uh, uh, cauliflower rice, uh, Jackfruit for the vegan for the vegetarians, I can put it over wild rice. Oh, that sounds nice. Yes, uh, believe it or not, I don't taste any of my food because everything tastes like iron to me because I had cancer twice. So that wipe that wiped out um, all of my taste buds. So I don't taste any of my food when I cook it, and even after I cook it, I barely taste any of it. I'm just yeah. getting tingles here because eating your food is a spiritual experience and mm -hmm. how you both are, Dan and Bev, there's the love in the food. You can't buy that that seasoning. And we've talked about this, haven't we? And people have said this to you before, that you can taste the love in the food and Thank something you. goes on in the interaction uh, with uh, soul finesse and the customers. Don't you think, Mrs. Ip? Absolutely. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, and And how like brave and courageous you are to to spend so much time like cooking not having tasted it i'm sure mr m wants to um volunteer to be a taste tester i'll give you my you. taste buds you can have my taste buds are they like kidneys can we not do a transplant and you can have some of mine <laughs> anytime 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 oh. I, I tell you but it's it's okay it's okay because I, I enjoy cooking, and I'm going to tell you, anything, so finesse came about, anything that finesses the soul, and I know Dan talked about it, anything mm. that finesses your soul, cooking finesses my soul. It brings yeah. people together, and people are able to sit down, and they're able to talk to each other. Mm. Um, when I grew up, I'm only 56 years old. When I grew up, I remember sitting around the table and talking. There were no cell phones, no electronic devices. We were able to just talk. And I remember um, years ago, Dan had a good friend and he sat at Dan's desk and talked to Dan, but Dan didn't realize what was going on. The next day he killed himself. Oh. And I said, that was it. No more. We're going to bring all these people that are here, we were in Japan. We're gonna bring everybody that's single around the holidays, we're gonna bring them together. And I'm gonna cook. I don't know how I'm gonna do it because we don't have much funds, but we're gonna reach out to all of these little groups and we're gonna bring money together and we're gonna set these individuals down to eat, to cook, to let them know that we are here, we are family. And right. it all started from there. And here, I did the same thing when we first got here. No, I did it in no. Lisbon, bring people together. Yeah. And yeah. I'm doing it again here, bringing people together. And yeah. I just, and I, I want to say one thing. I am doing it with Mr. John Smeet. We are bringing people together on September the 7th for the soup kitchen because I am also doing things with, for the community, with the community. Um, mm -hmm. And also for the cancer center because that's a big part of me as well. Yeah, you know. So well, you mentioned John Smeets there. He he is the the incredible photographer as well. He took some beautiful photographs I've seen on Facebook in the last few days of the bay, taken at five thirty in the morning. And John, I think, does all sorts behind the scenes as well, a little bit like you, right? So you're, yes. you're working together, 
for the soup yes. kitchen and doing some fundraising and bringing people together around food, which is which is an amazing thing you're doing. And I think as, a little bit more superficially, what I thought was going on was that American folks were hearing about your food, and we can put the menu on the screen now. And it was comfort food, which it is. There's no question about that. It is comfort food, and people were were thinking, oh, that's good. I'll, I'll, I'll go along to Soul Finis. But there's something else going on. There's another uh, positive and beautiful agenda going on uh, where people are connecting heart to heart. And as you say, finessing their soul which is not I, I you know that's your name i didn't realize that the significance of what was going on there again you have so much going on that is that is a uh, um spiritual and transcendent bev you and dan you've got the bayou crab the vegan 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 on sunday southern fried catfish southern fried chicken wings the kids love this don't they they love your signature mac and cheese as well the seasoned fries which dan i think can take the credit for um, yes <laughs> you can have dessert with your main course with cornbread as well uh oh <laughs> i'm at a safe distance i can say it <laughs> and, and of course the amazing desserts that you create so tell us a little bit about those if you will uh this weekend both saturday and sunday i will have chocolate cake oh there wow. yeah we had uh several people that wanted chocolate cake this past uh sunday yeah. and uh they walked up and they said Oh, I'm here for the chocolate cake, that divine chocolate cake that you make. And mm -hmm. I was already, I had no more. It was gone. Oh, no. And it was so disappointed. And I said, I'm sorry. Um, it was gone in an hour and a half. Oh, wow. Gone. Yeah. You know? And uh, so I'm bringing it back. And the seafood ball will be Saturday and Sunday because right. we have pre orders now. Have it, folks. Ball. And take a spare shirt because <laughs> <laughs> that's right, isn't it, Bev? Take extra clothes because the yeah. way to eat that is to get involved, isn't it? Is to jump in pretty much. It, it, and, yes. and, and you're going to be asking people if you can borrow a hammer from Pit Stop to break open the cap crab claws. Now, you brought some t utensils. We've got the pizzas. Yes. Dan's got the tools. Yes. Uh, and I, I have the tools. <laughs> <laughs> excellent and, 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 and yeah just get covered up and just get involved and you well, as soon as your teeth go into that corn cob and you get the flavors coming out uh you yeah. go into another a food gasm i called it uh owen's here as well he's a he's a great lover and creator of food as well in fact we've got his plum um i've got some of your plum ice cream i think that you made yesterday isn't that beautiful Ooh, that looks good. Good. it oh does look God. good he's, he's very skilled and talented. Oh. He's saying Dream Team Friday, Philomena Friday as well. Philomena Friday. Soul for that sounds amazing. San Martino oh. is very fortunate. We are. Oh. You've also been called the Beethoven of cooking. That works, yes. doesn't it? Oh, that does. that's so it, sweet. <laughs> there he was. He couldn't hear what he was creating, and you can't taste what you're creating, but we can, thankfully. Yeah. And I'm so oh. grateful. To you. So grateful to have met you, Bev. And this, this, you know how this works how you are bringing people together. American folks, if you were brought up on cornbread and, and, and these American favorites, mac and cheese and, and fried fish and fried chicken, and you just want to finesse your soul, nourish yourself, you can certainly do that at a pit stop in San Martino de Porto every weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And something else will occur as well. Uh, Dan and Bev take it to a, a whole new level of sociability, of love, of connection between people. So we thank you for that, Bev. And I'm sorry I, I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you got it wrong. Now, can, 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 can I say one other thing? Of course you can. November um, is a big holiday. Uh, Thanksgiving. We All do right. Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving. We are doing that at the pit stop this oh, November. Wow. Right. So, you you will see Dan's cooking because he will do the deep fried turkey. Deep fried turkey. Whoa. All right, I'm in for that. Put me down. I'll be, I'll be <laughs> along for that for sure. Amazing. Yeah. And also new friends of ours, Ken. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Ken and Jen, it's easy to remember. Uh -huh. Ken Correct. has started up uh, and he's added to this whole experience, the Taco Tuesday in San Martino de Porto. Yes, he has. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Yes. So you can enjoy that as well incredible uh you're look, you're getting love from around the world here from belfast uh, northern ireland sending love to bev and dan may they keep cooking and loving the community uh, yeah here's yeah. to that absolutely yes. bev dan, and dan please give um uh, our, our love to dan who may still be sleeping soundly ahead of the hard work you'll be doing this weekend right 
Yes, he is sleeping because um, a gentleman's birthday is today and his wife contacted me uh, two days ago and asked uh -huh. if I can prepare, oh, wait a minute, if Dan can prepare chicken <laughs> and fish for All his right. birthday today. Wow. Um, oh, busy day today. And I can do her mac and, my mac and cheese and yeah. sauteed corn because that's uh -huh. a big hit also because I do corn with bell peppers and onions in it. Incredible. Mm, that sounds oh, good. Sounds yeah. right, <laughs> in cornbread. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> and um, so maybe if you could whisper in Dan's ear, the Gumpers love you, Dan, all right, just to start his day off. If you send him our love from the Gumpers here. I will. I will. All right. Okay. <laughs> I think we're all good now, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> I'm, most, I'm not sure we will see you this weekend I'm playing rounders over in Kaldash on Sunday but maybe we can pop in on the way and give the kids some chips uh, to eat we in the would back of the love car that. on the way over yeah, maybe absolutely. I'll just walk down with the kids yeah alright so maybe mm. we will see you then <laughs> okay. I should, okay from your number Thank one you. fan and um, take care bye for now love to Thank come you. Thank, you Thank you for being here ciao ciao the Beethoven of course